Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're okay. I'm also fine. I want us to talk about the coordinated attacks against the Speaker of the National Assembly, one Moses Wetangula, and the one uh, the attacks that are being led by the Governor for Transoya, uh, Bona George Natembea. So a friend asked me, "What is this about? To what end?" And um, I thought I should weigh on this. If you ask to me, they are the politics of Western Kenya is not very complicated. It's one of the most easy to predict region when it comes to politics. One, they don't have a kingpin per se. So it's not like a, a case of somebody ordering them on who to vote for. However, because of their proximity to Luoland, most of them would vote with Lewis. So you want to predict where majority of Western will vote, just see where Lewis are voting. And then you'll never be wrong, apart from the Bukusus. So when it's, uh, when it's about Kakamega, Busia, Vihiga, those ones are very predictable. You just know that they will vote Majority of them, a few will vote the other side, but majority of them will just vote where um, the Luos are voting. In this case, they will vote for Raila. But Bukusu is different case. Bukusu has been under uh, the, the tight control of the Speaker of the National Assembly. I, I was in some place called Nabuyole um, in Webuye. And... Uh, and the people were telling me, Huku ni weta. So, Wetangula decides, has a lot of influence, that is. So the question is, why is he now being challenged? Why is his influence in Bukusuland being challenged as of now uh, by the likes of Natembea? Very simple, in my opinion. This is about 2027 politics. Azimio is persuaded that the reason they lost the 2022 election, yeah, they know they lost. The reason they lost the 2022 election was because of the Bukusu vote. The 200,000 vote that Wetangula delivered to Ruto. Azimio is persuaded that is the main reason why they lost. So according to their mathematics, if they can get Western to either vote as a block as, a, as they did in, 20, uh, in 2013 and 2017, or they get the Bukusu vote to be divided. And for you to achieve this, either you get rid of Wetangula or you make Wetangula unpopular among Bukusus. Getting rid of Wetangula is difficult. He's been in politics for long. He knows what to do. He's been fought actually by more powerful people than uh, than Natambea. Just to remind you, during the handshake government, the president tried using the deep state to snatch Ford Kenya from Wetangula, and he failed. So this is not your ordinary politician. He knows his game. He's been in this game for long. Combo four team, Wamalwa, that is the Eugene guy, Ewa Munyinyi, Wangamati, all these people, even with the support of state, they fought Wetangula. And Wetangula still delivered Bukusu to William Ruto. That is how influential the current Speaker of the National Assembly is. So what have these uh, 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 what have these people come up with? In my opinion, they believe that if they water, or if they paint, they manage to paint Wetangula as a lone ranger because that is the message uh, Natambea is uh, is running with. If you listen to Natambea, it is like Wetangula kuko pekeyake. He has not gone with the community. Um, so even if he's number three uh, in the 
in the hierarchy it doesn't help it doesn't help in any way it doesn't help the community so he's, he's painting him uh, as a mean guy selfish one that is not helping the community in any way if he succeeds with that narrative then the aim is to make wetangula less popular not to do away with his popularity um, altogether but to make him less popular if he's less popular it means another person can sway a half of the bukusu to vote otherwise and then azimio would have succeeded in maybe dividing the bukusu vote or getting it back to the azimio fold that ladies and gentlemen in my opinion is the goal here some some people think that uh, natembea is trying to be a kingpin i don't think is that of ambitious i believe natembea is being used by the azimio team they disintegrate the votes or take them all together from wetangula bad news to these people in my opinion is that uh, wetangula is not a pushover and so if if he has not started uh, paying attention if you know what i mean to natembea because when he does uh, natembea is not a match even the people who are using him know who wetangula is in that region and if there's something i've learned with the uh, politicians who have control in certain areas is that it took them time to have that control and getting rid of them is not that easy so in my opinion it is um, a futile attempt and uh, if azimio had something else that they could concentrate on maybe it look for votes elsewhere that is what i would urge them to do because i don't think bukusu are uh, abandoning the, deep, the 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 bukusus are uh, going to abandon wetangula any day soon that is my belief anyway this is a an open debate you can share what you think if you agree with me let me know if you disagree also let me know otherwise uh, thank you for your time